First on Fox at 5, we are learning more about the tragic, deadly fall of a 14-year-old boy from a Florida amusement park ride. The teen's grief-stricken father and coach are speaking out. On Friday, investigators revealed the boy from Berkeley who attended City Garden Montessori School was visiting Orlando with a friend's family. Fox News' Kelly Hoskins has new details for you tonight. Outside the Icon Park in Orlando, flowers for 14-year-old Tyree Sampson, who fell to his death from a ride as high as the Statue of Liberty. Yarnell Sampson, the father of the 14-year-old who tragically fell to his death, told our Fox station in Orlando his son knew something was wrong on the ride. When the ride took off, that's when he was feeling uncomfortable. He was like, this thing is moving. You know what I'm saying? He was like, what's going on? That's when he started freaking out. And he was explaining to his friend who was next to him, like, man, I don't know, man. This, man, this, if I can make it, if I don't make it down safely, man, you please tell my mom and daddy I love it. Like, you know, for him to say something like that, he must have felt something. Tyree, who was six foot five and weighed 340 pounds, was on the free fall ride at Icon Park with two of his best friends when he fell off the ride when it was in motion. This one particular ride decided, yeah, we could take you. Come on, get on. Well, nobody else allowed him to get on the rides. So I wonder what happened between now and then what made him say, come on, you can get on this ride. This is the 911 call. Someone fell from the ride. We are responding. The 14 year old died at the hospital. His family wants the ride shut down and outside the park. Tyree's cousin led a petition drive to do just that. My cousin lost his life over this ride. I don't feel like it was safe. I feel like it needs to be shut down before someone else, family, have to go through what we is going. High profile attorneys Benjamin Crump and Bob Hilliard will represent the family. He absolutely would, would have accepted if this ride would have said respectfully to him, we're sorry, but, uh, but you can't ride it. You know, he would be home right now getting ready uh, for football practice, and that's their responsibility. The team was planning to play football at East St. Louis High School next school year. Arnaud Jones recently coached Sampson in football, and the eighth grader was participating in the Bad Boys, a nationally ranked youth program based out of St. Louis. Jones says he had a bright future, was an honor roll student, and had dreams of playing in the NFL. I think he had the potential that he could have played at anywhere in college. Mizzou, Alabama, Notre Dame, he could have went anywhere he wanted to go because not only was he talented, he was smart in the classroom. Reporting from St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.